Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers, and we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's find each product here. And remember, product means the answer to a multiplication problem. So for number one, we have 39 times 24. And the first thing we need to do is set this problem up. And we can do that by writing 39 times 24. When setting these problems up, just make sure that your places are lined up, meaning the nine and four are lined up because they are both in the ones place. The three and two are lined up because they are both in the tens place. So the process that we're going to go through, essentially what we're going to do, we're going to do four times 39 and then 20 times 39. Now I said 20 times 39 because the two in 24 has a value of 20. So let's go through this process. And the first thing we're going to do is four times nine, which gives us 36. Now we carry our three to the tens place there Next, we do four times 30, and I say four times 30 because the three in 39 has a value of 30. But we can just think of it as the simple digits of uh, four times three here. So four times three is 12, plus that three that we carried is 15. Now I'm just going to drop my one here because I don't have any more places to carry that one to. So I am done doing four times 39. So I can cross off the four because I'm done with that and I'm done with this three here. Crossing things off when you're done with it helps you so you don't get confused with any other numbers that we carry later on in the problem. Now this next step is very important. We need to put a zero here for when we do 20 times 39. And we put that zero there because the two in 24 has a value of 20. So that zero represents that. Now we go through our process. Two times nine is 18. So we put our eight and carry our one. See why we crossed out that three earlier? So we don't get it confused with any other numbers we carry. Then we do two times three, which is six, plus that one is seven. So we have four times 39 is 156 and 20 times 39 is 780. Now we add these two answers together to get our final answer or product. So six plus zero is six, five plus eight is 13, one plus one is two, plus that seven is nine. So we get a final answer of 936. So on to number two, where we have 68 times 57. So let's line our problem up. And now we're ready to solve. So we need to do seven times 68 and 50 times 68. Seven times eight is 56, carry our five. Seven times six is uh, 42 plus five is 47. So we get 476. We are done with this five here and we are done with this seven. Now that we're moving over to the five of 57, that five has a value of 50. So we need a zero here before we can continue on. Now we do five times eight, which is 40. So we have a zero, carry the four. Five times six is 30, plus that four is 34. So I put my four and there are no more places to carry that three to. So we can drop it there. And now we can add these partial products. Those are called partial products because they are, they are part of our final product. So add them together. Six plus zero is six. Seven plus zero is seven. Four plus four is eight. And then we have our three there. So 3,876 is our final product there. So there you have it. There's how you multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.